he is real and proof that he is real is I've seen him change me like my parents or like the people around me just like constantly changing like for the better because without God I don't know I just feel like everything would go to crap and um, people people would not be as kind as they are and so I want to believe in God because I feel like that would make me a better person and I want to be a better person I think I'm somewhere in like the middle because I don't believe that there is like definitely no God and but I know like Christianity is like a big commitment with like the way you live and stuff so I think I'm just right now I'm just taking the time to learn more about it right now before I commit um because um I think God spoke to me in uh, um prayers and um and like um like when I went to church like he spoke to me like uh like that to like trust in him and pray God helps you go places and do things over the summer I felt him again like I was able to hear like, hear his voice and like he talking to me and then like feel his presence and then like thanks to Pastor Sam I started re reading Matthew and New Testament and Genesis and from that I was able to answer some of the questions that I had and from that I firmly believe now that he's real and he's working in my life. God made us in his image. He brought us down to earth for us to spread the gospel to the ones that don't believe and the ones that believe. I guess I first started believing in God because of my parents. I just kept on going to church since like I was born, I guess. But I guess I believe in God now because I do feel like he is real and he exists. The essence of God is just love and compassion. And I've seen that in so many different people. And I've had so many people show that to me. So I think that couldn't come out of just nowhere and that couldn't come from, like, if there was no deeper purpose. So that's why I believe in God. Uh, I can't imagine a place we, we don't believe in God because if we don't, we'll be swallowed into the entire depths of hell and we would be suffering for the entire time of our lives. I believe in God because of my family. But now after like studying apologetics, uh, I know there's like historical um, proof and evidence that God is real and that He created all of us. I believe in God because, you know, I've felt the love of God and I've searched for evidence for God and found it. So. All that coming together um, proves that he was real. Like we live in the world, in this world, with these people around us, and I don't really think that's normal to happen. Like it's gonna be like the percentage that happens is gonna be so like small, mm -hmm. and and if God didn't do it for us, we won't even be here. Mm -hmm. No way this could be an accident. Yeah. I believe he's real because I've felt his love and I've seen his love work. Awesome. It's gotta happen. Amen. Amen. <laughs> uh, it's a defense of faith in God. Defending of Christianity from objections. Defending the faith of Christians. Defending your faith. When they have questions, you can answer them and when they question the faith, you like, defend it against that too. Defending the Christian faith. The defending of like your faith. The defense of faith against the objection of unbelievers. The belief that like there's a lot of different paths to salvation, like multiple different religions and beliefs can lead to that. And that's counter to Christianity because the Bible teaches that like Jesus is the only possible way to get to heaven and to get to salvation. Uh, the belief that uh, um, you're the on you're like the highest and you're the only one um, instead of God. The belief that there's like no God at all. It's the nothing is fixed, nothing is certain, so there's no good or bad. Uh, it's the belief that you can't know if there's a God or not. So they compared it with like what other people wrote 
and it was 98% true. So like they got all like the manuscripts that they wrote back then, they compared it and they were all like, like they all matched each other what they, the meaning like 98 like Daniel said. Mm -hmm. And then there's also other like historic evidence, not just from the Bible about all the events. And then all the events written only like a hundred years after it happened. Is when two things can't both be true in the same time. Time. Amen.